from the local station. News 4 Jax starts now. Another police shooting in Jacksonville. An 18-year-old Devon Gregory died. Police shot and killed Gregory during a traffic stop on San Juan Avenue on the west side. Investigators have released the image of a gun that they say Gregory had on him. And now we're looking into the time frame when body camera video recorded by officers will be made public. News for Jack's reporter Scott Johnson has been in touch with the state attorney's office and joins us live from the scene. Scott? Well, Joy, the passenger, this young man was a passenger in a car that was going in and out of lanes. That's why the car was pulled over. Now we are going to see what happened in relatively short order with body cameras, which used to take a long time for those videos to be released, maybe more than a year. That time frame has been shortened to weeks after a lot of pushback this past summer. The body-worn camera footage recorded by JSO of the shooting death of Devon Gregory should be made public in a matter of weeks. This is a copy of the new guidelines adopted by the state attorney's office in June following protests over the death of George Floyd by police in Minneapolis. The wait on public release of body camera footage shouldn't be much longer than 30 days because law enforcement agencies have 30 days to object to video release if there isn't a credible objection. The state attorney's office agrees that the swift and certain public release of BWC footage in officer-involved shootings is in the public's best interest. This video is something activists like Araceli Gonzalez want to see. She's affiliated with Black Lives Matter and questions whether Devon Gregory needed to die. We want to see all the body cameras. There's no way that we went shooting a person 35 times. I don't care what the refusal was. He did not have, an, uh, he wasn't armed. As far as we know. JSO has put out an image of a gun they say they recovered there. But they did say it wasn't his. They said that he had no knowledge of it. He was being picked up from work. That's like if I pick you up, do you know what I have in my car? News for Jax also spoke with a woman who lives nearby and heard one single shot before a slew of bullets were shot a moment later. It's unclear who fired the first shot. News for Jack's crime and safety expert Ken Jefferson says letting the public see what happened is critical to state attorney Melissa Nelson, who has decided to release the video sooner. It was totally outrageous that they held the body cam footage as long as they did on previous police shootings. I mean, it's been uh, over a year sometimes where they've kept footage. And JSO has changed the way they do briefings on these police-involved shootings. They, they do one at the scene, and then historically they've usually done a further interview with the media within 24 hours. It's no longer the case. Today, however, they did release uh, the image of the gun they say was used, as well as the name of the man who was shot. We are live on the west side. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.